Okay, hello, hello, I am back. So, um, okay, I, I, I was bad. I kind of went ahead and worked on this when I should have been um, doing like a screen capture. But I will take you um, in the next like 20 minutes or 30 minutes through what I did. Last time, yesterday, <clears throat> we left off with me just getting the arrangement down till about here. Uh, we listened to, let's see, is my mic still on? Yes, my mic is still on. We listened to different parts of the glue bicep track to see where different instruments come in. And what we had is like the bass line, we had some voice, uh, more like voice, that's kind of a droney stuff, uh, a crappy, relatively crappy pad that's still just okay, and the piano. And we're trying to like use the piano from Fred V in my head right here. So if you remember yesterday, the percussion was kind of crappy. Well, what I did, what, after listening to the bicep percussion for, for some time, is that, let's see, where is my breakbeat? Check this out. I, I noticed that um, the bicep thing, like if you listen to just the bicep percussion, let's, let's hit it. So I noticed that they just cut off right there. So I did the exact same thing with mine. So I did that. And then I also added my bicep kick and bicep snare. Right? And if you remember on the bicep track, right, it goes like this. And then it has a, has a low end cut. So I, I did I did the exact same thing here. Let's let me solo here, I'll show you how I did that. I ran an automation. Let's show let me show you that. Very easy. So I ran an automation where it, it initially just keeps 30 hertz cut off because 30 hertz is like I don't know, people recommended to cut that off. Then I cut 100 hertz and I go back to 30. So let's, let's hear how that sounds. <clears throat> yeah, it sounds like, like there's nothing there, like no low end, right? So, so that's that's that. I, I that's how I got that part down. So this took a little bit of finagling to figure out where to cut the this thing here, and this took a, like a few minutes of doing this. Okay, so our percussion pattern is good, and the easy part about the percussion is like it's the same all throughout. So I just copy and pasted it all the way through. <clears throat> the bass line, I didn't change a single thing. I, it's the same bass line, and I kept it rolling all the way through, except for that part in the bicep track where it's quiet. You see it says only percussion, there's only percussion here. <clears throat> okay, what else did I do? I took the vocals, this is old, we don't need that. I'm just gonna do that, we actually don't need those. Goodbye, and let's, let's save it, okay. Am I still recording? My mic's still on? Oh no. Yeah, it's on. Okay. Sometimes I forget that it's on or off. Okay, that's done. Let's clean that up, delete this base because we don't need it either. Save it. Pad. Delete that. And I think that's it. That's the rest of the stuff we need. Okay. Okay, let me take you through the rest of it. Okay, so the vocals, what is this? Okay, vocals back up low. So where where I got these vocals, um, where I got these vocals is, is from YouTube. I just looked at like, you know, female vocals, Indian kind of or Arabic vocals in, uh, in C. Um, and I and I just got those. 
and I didn't have to detune them or anything, so they, they fit pretty well. <clears throat> Th this whole vocal piece is one long vocal piece that's like uh, a minute and a half long, but I cut it really just based on what I like hearing. Uh, so the main part that I enjoyed hearing the most, I put that as main, and the main, they are, they're all... Yeah, they're gated. When I type A, it gates it. And then another main, no gate, no gate, back up low. This is also gated, so I'm going to... Again, I turned off because A is my hotkey. So, okay, I have my vocals here. And again, just like the bicep track, if you zoom in, they have the gated voice. And also, if you listen to the bicep track, there's like a little intro. I'll show you what I mean. They have a little intro. Like. They have that, so before the drum. So I did that too. I took like a random segment and I and I put it in here. Except that it sounds a lot better. But that's okay. <clears throat> and then um, again I have like this drone in C right here. That's really nice because it's kind of just this background. It's very quiet, it's in the background, but it like connects everything, and I have that also in a pad. Because if you notice the bicep track, if you put that here. So there's a nice pad in there. Hmm. I thought about raising it by an octave. TBH. I thought about it. I tried it too, it didn't sound that good. So let's see, leave it here for now. <clears throat> the arpeggio, I'm actually not quite sure what that does. I got this file from the internet and I worked a lot on it to get it to where I want it to be. So I'm not sure what this actually does. But I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not quite sure what, what it what it does. It's in C minor, so it's tuned it's tuning something. Yeah, I'm not sure what it does. I'm sure it's very important. But I was gonna leave it here. And then this is the piano. So I have um let's see, what did I do with the piano? The piano, I kind of started the chords off very quietly. So they're very subtle. Like very very quiet. <clears throat> and then they kind of pick up over time. And then here's like the parts that only go the highs and the low keyboard. So I, what I did here is I took out the chords because <clears throat> Initially, I had the chords over here as well, but what I found out is there's too many instruments playing, and I needed to clean it up. Uh, so, uh, as you can see here, like the bicep track again only has like percussion, bass, cut voice part, cutty voice thingy, and then uh, this is my synth. This is quiet. This is a little louder, and this is the high ends that fill up the high ends. So again, only five things. Very simple. Because initially I had more stuff here, but what I found out is that. Uh, it was cluttering. It was cluttering the the sound space so much, and it was making it muddy. Then I then for the trigger, uh, so not the trigger, but for the for the part that's only percussion, I deleted everything. Also, before the bass line, um, I did a little cut. So when the percussion cuts out, everything cuts out to give it that like space uh, be, uh, and expectation before the, the final the bass comes in. And then let's see. So what I did here is I layered two voices. Um, this is the voice that gets the gate over here. I moved it to a new channel and I turned off the gate so it just sounds like smooth like oh, where is it? As, as opposed to this one which is gated.
right? And then I took another part of the song, this this voice that I downloaded from the YouTube, and I made it really quiet, so it's just kind of fills in the background. And as what you could see, what I did is when this part is loud at minus 10 dB, this is very quiet. And as this gets quieter, this picks up. So let's let me show you how that sounds. So there's a kind of this play back and forth between the two. <clears throat> See, there's nothing here, so this one can keep up again. See? Um, so again, this is in the background. I'm, I may actually delete this part because, hmm, yeah, I actually don't need this. I'm going to get rid of it because it's too much. It overlaps too much. And then after the smooth voices go, um, I started cutting them. So they sound like this. <clears throat> And then here you get another layer, but it's no cuts, so it's even more like intense music stuff. So I did that. I also took the higher part and I also stuck it in here, so it sounds like this. So I'll let you, let, let's hear how this whole like voice part stuff sounds. Because after like, yeah. Okay, so you get that idea. Then I just played around with the piano, turning it on and off. Uh, I didn't do too much here. I didn't put any modulations or anything. Kept it, again, pretty straightforward. Um, I, I ran the reverb onto these channels, like my room A, 
this reverb. So again, room reverb right here, just a little utility, and there's a cutoff. And here's another channel B, and I ran. I, I didn't run the pianos through anything because I want them to be crisper. Let's see, am I still talking here? Okay, uh, but uh, 15 minutes. Let's see if we can finish this up quickly. And uh, right, okay. And another thing that I did that I feel really helped. Um, let's go my master channel. <clears throat> As I downloaded this Ozone Imager 2 free plugin, it's super free. But what's nice about it is it helps me with my stereo space. It helps helps me with that width. Um, there's tricks you could use to increase your width, like like reverb, echo, um, panning, and what else? Uh, the Haas effect. You can use the Haas effect, which is which is pretty sweet. Um, Normally I'll throw that on, let's see, usually like a keyboard or, or something, but here because of the reverb, because of the width and the thickness of the stuff, of the music already, I don't want to include it because I feel like it's just like, you know, sometimes too much is too much. Um, so this is all I have made with stock plugins. And um, yeah, I restarted my computer, so hopefully it won't be laggy anymore like it was yesterday. And uh, let's put this over here. Let's save it. <clears throat> and now, again, let's let's just go through it. Let's take a listen to it and see where we are. Um, yeah, the the part where I was doing the actual work, I kind of I kind of showed you the main part, like cutting for EQ for the drums, 3D equalizer. 3D ozone imager for making it a little wider than than it can be, and then really I moved some stuff around to match what the bicep track had, because if you listen to the bicep track, there's only like five instruments in there. It's very simple. I I have more, so I may actually end up deleting like these two TBH. Like I'm gonna make them red because this is uh well not that one. This one, I, I may actually delete this channel because uh, I, I have I have certain feelings about it. Um, we can give it two listens, one with and one without, and see how it sounds. But generally, like right now, I'm pretty happy with the product. And probably after today, I'm going to send it over to a friend to for him to listen and give me his opinion on what my what what, what am I highlighting? Just what is this? Why is it so high? It seems to be that high. It's crazy. Okay. And I'm actually glad that I looked here because this this thing. Can I? Sh can somebody? Where is this? C minor. Oh, if you want to write music that sounds really good, you should write it in B flat. B flat is the magic key to write things in. I wish they, I wish you could show me where this thing is, like like what's it connected to? Cause I'm very curious what this does. It's clearly doing something or arpeggiating something. See? Analog. But like where? 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 What's it doing? I'm not sure. But I think it's helpful. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this one is. But something is moving, like it's moving something, you see? I think it needs to have like a, you know, uh, since we're messing around for a second here, I have a little bit of time. Let's throw, let's throw this in here. Did it work? Did it break? Okay, let's see what this does. I'm I'm generally curious what this ARP does. Oh.
So I'm actually glad that I have this arpeggiator in here. Um, this is cool. I always wanted to like use it for something, but I'm gonna keep it here so I can load up the file next time. Um, but I can kind of see what they're trying to do here. Um, let's do like a lot of controls there. Okay, let's save it. This arpeggio thingy. I'm not sure why it's here. I'm gonna put it over here. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go rename and put question marks because I don't know what it does. And make sure that I'm still recording. Yes, okay. Okay. Cool. Let's give it a listen. Let's see what it sounds like. Wait, no. Please play. Put things off. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go.
Okay, so so there there you have it. Um, we 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 finished it. This is my first kind of draft of the track. Now I'm gonna um, export it, throw it on SoundCloud, send it to some friends, get their feedback. And um, probably need to mix this up and clean this up a little better. But uh, for the first arrangement, this is pretty good. Then, you know, maybe get it on a Juna D or something. Just kidding. You'll probably never get there. Um, probably get like five listens on SoundCloud and then be forgotten. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, let's, uh, let's, let's make some moves on here. So thanks for watching. Um, hope this was kind of educational for you. And... Um, Yes, see ya.